Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Ben Danun with Danun Institute of Biblical Research. In behind me is the ancient city known in the Greek Bible or the Christian Bible as Bethsaida, Beit Sada or Tzeda in Hebrew. It is a city that was years ago in, in the times of uh, Yeshua, when Yeshua actually walked the shores of Galilee. This is the city that Philip Matthew and Peter, I believe those three there, were actually from this city. We find this in uh, the books of, or the book of Mark, uh, of chapter 6 and chapter 8, and other places in the Bible, even in um, some of the Old Testament scriptures as well. Bethsaida was cursed by Yeshua. And he said in one place there, and just paraphrasing it, he says, O Bethsaida, if the mighty works had been done and Sodom and Gomorrah that was done in thee. They had repented long ago in sackcloth and in ashes. He, of course, Capernaum, he was typing the same way, which Capernaum is not far from this very area. In fact, Capernaum is just, oh, a little bit south of here. Bethsaida, though, is just off the Jordan River. And in the book of Mark, Mark recounts an event where when Yeshua comes up to Bethsaida, they asked him if he would lay hands on a blind man. Immediately, Yeshua takes the blind man out of this city, the city behind me, that is, takes him out over into the desert area, just which is very close to here, just meters away, and he takes, he spits in his eyes. That's something I've been praying about to really catch the revelation on that, but spit in his eyes, laid his hands upon him and asked him, can you see? Well, he said, I see men like trees which is kind of interesting because about the only place you'll find trees unless they were planted by the Jewish people is along this, the river basin here and around the Sea of Galilee. So he knew what a tree was like, but it must have been still a blurry image. So Yeshua, once again, Yeshua, he takes and lays his hands upon him, and this time his eyes come open and he could see clearly. What's fascinating, though, to me is that this city was so full of unbelief that Yahshua could not do a single miracle in the city because of it. He literally had to lead the blind man out of the city to pray for him. And I, I think about how it is today around the world. There's so much unbelief. So few people are able to believe in God, to believe the mighty miracles that God could, could do, that he did back then, that he's even done in this day. Many of you guys may be witnesses to miracles that Yeshua or Jesus has done in your lives. For myself, I've seen the dead raise. I have seen the blinded eyes come open. And I'm talking about like the blind man that was here, totally blind. But I can also understand what Yeshua must have felt like when he had to lead him out because of unbelief. Because maybe you've experienced that as well, where you've tried to pray for someone, but yet just the mockery and the unbelief in the room makes it so difficult to be able to pray for the person that you end up having to pray in secret somewhere else or, or wait for the time to pray for that person. I've seen situations like that. It's very sad, but that's what it had gotten to be here in this little town here, and now they're uncovering it. In fact, the head archaeologist of this site is Dr. Ram, Rami Arav. I met Dr. Arav up in Nebraska University along with Dr. Jenkins and Dr. Hutt. Dr. Hutt is a Greek scholar who, in fact, it was one of the first times besides my wife speaking about it that I'd heard about biblical equality. And Dr. Hutt, I got a chance to sit down and do an interview with him, which is on our YouTube channel. You have to go back and look it up. Even Dr. Rami Arav, he's on our YouTube channel and Dr. Jenkins as well. Dr. Arav is a a Jewish archaeologist, and Dr. Jenkins is a Christian archaeologist. They all work here, but Dr. Arav is over the project. So look him up on our YouTube channel. It's probably been two or three years ago since I actually filmed him in Nebraska. It's when I first met Vivica Pontian from Sweden, who uh, found, discovered the chariot wheels in the Gulf of Aquaba. But anyhow, what an incredible place to be. And to know, regardless of this city being cursed, to know that our blessed Savior Yahshua, Jesus of Nazareth, literally walked on these very on this very grounds. Shalom from Israel, from Bethsaida.
Beit Sayadah. I'm Stephen Bendene with the Noon Institute of Biblical Research.